That, ladies and gentlemen, is a baby piglet. A three-day-old piglet, to be exact. <laughs> um, don't get too excited. I'm only babysitting. Oh, hi. Are you done? No, Chica. Uh, today and tomorrow? No, no, no. Um, where are you going? Chica! Oh, my goodness, this little thing. Here, no, no, I need you to eat some more. I need you to eat some more. Um, this little baby was a set of 15... There were 15 born, um, but he will, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I don't know how to tell the sex of pigs, nor am I even good at cats, so whatever. Um, but he would not latch on. Um, they got him to latch enough in the first 24 hours to hopefully get him some colostrum, but he just wouldn't nurse, and, you know, he doesn't have a cleft palate or cleft lip or anything. They couldn't figure it out. So, the vet came up with, and it does happen. Oh, excuse the flies. We have like six flies in here, and they all love the pig. <laughs> I mean, it's, I don't know. Don't ask me. So, anyway, um, so we are teaching him to eat out of a dish because he will not take any type of nipple, um, and you can syringe feed them, but... You know, that's really difficult, and uh, you just, he, he doesn't get enough when you syringe feed him. But he's doing really, really well. However, he has to have a babysitter. His uh, owner is works at one of the shelters um, and that I work for, and she's like, I can't take him to work, but I can't leave him home. <laughs> So I am babysitting him um, just from 9 to 5 today and tomorrow. And then we'll see how he is doing next week. But she's, you know, she can keep him during the weekend. So we'll see how he's doing um, after that. And he is really taking to the bowl quite well. He, it took him a minute. Um, and this so far is the only kind of dish I have gotten him to eat out of uh, because he can kind of you know, scrape it up onto the sides. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this is all we need. Um, it's, it's all, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little strange um, to be trying to feed a piglet, but there we go. Isn't he cute though? He's so cute. Oh, but the fly, I don't understand it. I mean, and he's not dirty. I have baby wiped him. Um, I don't know, but I had the back door open for a little bit this morning because it's kind of got nice outside. And all, everybody, all the cats and kittens were asleep. So I had the back door open for a little bit and so it's my fault. Oh, there you go. Oh, you're so good. No, don't bite. No biting. No, both of you, no. And actually, Chica, that, kit, that piglet, look, I said kitten. The piglet's teeth are very sharp. Um, so. Oh, my love. Hi. Are you just being so precious? Yes, you are. Yes, you're being so precious. She's gotten really good about letting me give her fluids. Um, they're down there. We just finished. Uh, she has started to show, um, neurological signs of dehydration and so we have upped her fluid intake I was just giving her about 20 mils a day but now she's on 50 to 60 and because she's so small you can't put all that in her you know you don't do it all at once you have to do it you know throughout the day and I do feel bad for her because she has to be stuck so many times. But she, it, she really doesn't fight it. Um, she does a little bit sometimes when the liquid starts going in. But she doesn't fight the needle. However, because of this, I am more reluctant to give her an actual bath. Um, because of the stress that it causes. 
so I'm doing my best with wipes and wash rags. Um, I'm really going to try to not bathe her today. Um, and that's why she looks really shiny on her face and her back end because I did just finish using a wash rag. So I'm really hoping that helps. Oh, I don't. Hey, hi. I know you can't see her hardly, um, but the piglet has left the building, and I wanted to do one last update on Hope, uh, because her, um, appointment is tomorrow. Oh, there's flies. And I talked to, earlier, I talked to the, um, nurse from the specialist office, uh, to get, like, her history and they ordered her medical records from the other vet um, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to film in there tomorrow and you know so I wanted to do one last update uh, I did talk about how hope was showing signs of um, neurological signs of dehydration uh, they are getting better because I am giving her more fluids but she did have an episode a little bit ago um, and I'll probably talk more about that um, in my next video where um, after I've seen the vet you know just to get some of my facts straight one thing I wanted to warn people about because the nurse didn't mention this is if Hope um, needs to be hospitalized or fostered by a medical foster, which I have done with other cats and kittens um, in the past, I am going to um, do it. I do love Hope. I love having Hope here. Um, but if her best chances are, you know, with someone that can monitor her, and put her on an IV. You know, I don't have the setup for IVs. Um, you know, and that kind of thing. Then I am going to do that. Uh, and the nurse did say it is a possibility. Because, you know, she has not improved um, since her last medical records, in my opinion. And, you know, I'm sure the vet will look at that and see. But I did want to warn everyone about it. Um, and I think that's it, but she is, she's, she's okay, yeah, I know it's dark, I know, um, but she's okay, she's hanging in there, oh, there's a fly, um, she's okay, and she's hanging in there, and I will update you regardless of how her, uh, visit went, goes, even, if she comes home, you'll see her when I update, and if she doesn't, I'll still do an update, because like I said, I do want to explain um, some things that have been happening with her. But other than that, say goodnight. And, um, oh, also, on the piglet, because I noticed, I did not say this in the videos. Um, the piglet, the big pig, the mom pig was rescued from, they call it a pig mill. I'm not sure what a pig mill is. I, I assume it's like a puppy mill. Um. But the pregnant pig was rescued, and my friend that I babysat for um, rescued her, and they, it was so far along, they decided to let the pig have the babies, um, and they are not going to be used as food. I mean, they are going to a rescue and a refuge, you know. I, I do want to point that out. My daughter did ask me about it. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Um, so, you know, they'll live a long life on a refuge in Clarksville, I think is what she said. Um, so, they will be fine. Uh, they just have to be a little bit older before they can go. Okay. Say bye.